Part 1. Circulation. After completing this part, you will know 1. How to find books and other materials in the library. 2. Where to check materials out. And 3. Where to return materials. Textbooks and other reading materials are essential and often mandatory for your coursework. Besides having many of the supplemental readings, articles, and journals that you may need for your classes, the library may also have the resources to find required textbooks elsewhere at no cost. Although you can search and find books and other materials on your own, library employees are always available to help. When you bring your course syllabi to a library employee at the second or fourth floor service desk of Alden Library, they will help you locate the material. The tool we'll most likely use to locate your materials is our library catalog system, ALICE. In ALICE, we can search for materials by titles, authors, and even by using keywords. If we own copies of the materials you are looking for, the ALICE record will include which floor the materials are on and whether it is currently in the library or checked out to another library user. Here, in this ALICE record, we can see that the book is located on the seventh floor, its call number, and it looks like it's available to be checked out. Now that we know the book is on the seventh floor of Alden Library, we can go to the seventh floor and start looking for it. Anytime you need help locating an item, just ask a library employee at either service desk on the second or fourth floors at Alden to assist you. Once you arrive at the book's location, you will discover that the other books on either side of that book are usually related to the subject of the book that you are looking for. This is because our books are organized by subject rather than by title or author. For example, let's take a look at two books about photography. Notice how similar their call numbers are. Both call numbers start with TR and are located on the third floor. So if we are looking for the book, Wildlife Photographer of the Year, on the third floor, we will most likely see Color Mania somewhere close by on the shelf. Once you have the book and other material you need from the library, go to either the second or fourth floor service desk with your Ohio ID card to check out the book. Your Ohio ID is your Ohio University Library card. The employee at the service desk will scan your ID and the barcodes of the materials you are borrowing, and they will inform you of the date the materials are due. Once you no longer need those materials, you may drop them off at either of the service desks or at our book returns on the second and fourth floors. Okay, but you ask, what if the materials you are looking for are not here at Alden Library? As previously mentioned, there are times when we do not have immediate direct access to the materials you need, either because it is checked out or we do not own it. When this happens, we can look in another catalog called OhioLink for the material. OhioLink is the name of our partnership with other university libraries around the state to share library materials. If you can find and order your materials at one of those libraries, it takes just three to five business days for the material to arrive at Alden Library, at which time you may check it out. This concludes Part 1, Circulation.